Welcome everyone, it's Pixelated Apollo, thanks for stopping by, and this is episode 11 of the Scotland campaign in Stainless Steel 6.4. And before we get started with this episode, I have to explain something really fast. So if you remember at the end of the last episode, episode 10, we made Leon our vassal. So since I finished the episode, I went to save my game, and, and instead of hitting save, I clicked load, and then I hit one of these load files, and we lost all the progress. But the good news is that Every time you end the turn, it auto saves. And since we were at the end of a turn, the last episode, we didn't lose a lot of progress. The only thing that's going to be different is the fact that Leon is not our vassal anymore. Because I tried over and over and over, and they just would not accept them being our vassal. So we're just going to completely destroy them. And honestly, I think that's best because vassals, they can backstab you, and they're just annoying to deal with. So. We'll just completely destroy them, and uh, once we do that, and I again, I think this is their last settlement, so once we take this, they're gone, and I think the next victim will be uh, Aragorn, or Aragorn, or however you pronounce it, um, because I think they're pretty powerful, I think they have a lot of territories over here, and also, remember, they, they attacked us, and then we agreed to a ceasefire. So they're kind of on bad terms with me anyways. So once we take them out, I might go for Portugal or the Moors. And look at Portugal. They're just love and peace because they have these massive armies just walking around, going for a stroll. Like, hey guys, you want to go for a little walk? Like, they're just standing around doing nothing, which I don't mind because I don't want to deal with Portugal yet. So let's head over to uh, Norway and see what's going on here. So we've got this force to reinforce this settlement. And then we're going to combine forces here. And let's see if we can merge anybody. Okay, no, it doesn't look like it. But we can march forward and fight off these armies. And the odds are... They're in our favor, but I don't want to lose a lot of troops. Because sometimes when you auto-resolve it, you just... You lose like 200 men, and it's like, what the heck? I could have done a lot better than that. But uh, we'll go ahead and fight this one. And also, I'm not going to cut out the loading screens anymore because the reason I did that was the fact that Bandicam, for some reason, just couldn't record them. It had this like preset setting where it just, whatever reason, just couldn't record loading screens. Something about the frame rate. So I turned that off and now you it should be good to go because before I would like lag and stuff in the uh, loading screen so that's why I always cut them out so if you prefer me to cut them out uh, just let me know and I'll just continue to do it oh crap I'm sorry guys oh we completely missed the speech I'm so sorry I forgot to turn on my speech uh, at least you saw the uh, little speech at the, at the bottom there well I apologize <laughs> I always forget to turn on speech. I turn it off for online battles. But, uh... Bad habit there. Alright, so we've got this little uh, battle going on. We've got some lakes nearby. They're really refreshing. So we can, you know, drink up some water after this bloody bath. Bloody... This bloody bath. This blood bath. So, let's see. Let's get my infantry together. They'll be right behind. Oh, I forgot the Gwent Raiders. You cannot forget the Gwent Raiders. Let's group them up. So, also, I need to make sure I save the the game before I start this battle. Or start any battle. Because um, my game has been crashing a lot. And I, I don't really know. I mean, it's a mod. Mods just crash a lot, which is unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't save this one. So, hopefully, it doesn't crash. But this is actually my second time trying to record this because my game crashed all right so Norway he's got a bunch of crappy units here we're just gonna charge our cav over that way and just completely destroy them with one charge and then the reinforcements wow you know there's really not a lot of reinforcements either so we'll just march forward like about right here and then get the infantry and then let's deal with this army over here. Alright, Cav. Time to giddy up. Speed up, man. It's time to slaughter some Norwegians. And once I take their capital, I'm gonna call it New Scotland. Because how dare they attack us when we're unprepared. 
our attack, our homeland. Alright, come on guys, let's charge. Uh, we don't really need the catapults in this one, so we'll keep them back. This is going to be quite the cab charge. And look, they're just standing here. They're, they're not going to be able to do anything about this. Alright. Charge. Let's have you guys go to the flank. General, you're going to flank around. Here we go. Oh, geez, stakes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That came out of nowhere. That, that changes things. Oh, damn. Good for them. Good for them. That's right, you can put down stakes whenever you want in this mod. Oh, stay away from the stakes, guys. Alright, cycle chargers, cycle chargers. Guys, the stakes. By the saints, our men have slain the enemy general. Oh, we killed him. His troops will lose their will. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Wow. Wow. Imagine if the stakes weren't there. Guys, guys, guys. Alright, I just have to... I kind of have to babysit my cab right here. Get away. I think they can charge through it that way. Okay, what's going on here? Alright, my army's marching forward. We can go ahead and run them. And I'm going to make sure to kill everybody here, because I don't want to have to deal with them in the siege battle for the capital. Alright. Yes, kill them. Beware of the stakes, though. Beware! Oh, 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 oh. Guys, 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 guys. Get away from the damn stakes. It's like they want to die. General, general. Okay, good. All right, that's good. We've killed 53% uh, already. And my army over here is about to get in range of the reinforcements. And now we can take all the cav and just charge into these bastards. Here we go. Archers, give them hell. These are uh, Norse archers. Check them out. They look pretty cool. They're going all in. Look at this. They want to fight in melee. Oh, the volley of death. Death is upon them. All right, let's get the cav. Alright, infantry, prepare to march forward here. Alright, archers, you can go ahead and retreat. Hold fire, the, the king is about to charge in. You don't want to kill the king by accident, that would be really embarrassing. Especially when he's, a, when he's doing a glorious charge. Yeah, the Norwegians are, are screwed. The enemy are badly flooded. They have lost half their men. They are screwed. Alright. So that was a pretty successful battle. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward, guys. Okay, who's left? What is... Oh, because they're fighting to the death. Uh, we killed 99%. And I, I know why it's not 100%. Because we got three over here. So let's get my cab to chase him down really quick. Nobody will survive this battle. From the Norwegian side. <laughs> There's the other captain dead. Here we go. Here comes my, my cav. Oh, they're about to get out, but too short or too far. <laughs> Very good fight. Let's see the end results here. We lost 12 men. That's what I'm talking about. See, if we auto-resolved it, I could have lost 100, 200, who knows. But we captured 251. I'll see you guys. Well, actually, I should stop saying that because I'll be with you in the loading screen. Fantastic. By the way, Legend of Total War, he helped me out there. He showed me how to fix it. So thank you, Legend, for the help. And we will execute. Uh, we, we could have, you know, request a ransom. 
but I really don't want to deal with all those extra units. And we might as well just march to uh, the capital. We'll merge. Okay, we can't really merge anyone. I was going to hire some mercenaries, but doesn't look like I'm going to get any. Alright, so now what we're going to do is check all the settlements and make sure we're building everywhere. Man, once we finish those mines, I'm really going to make a lot of money here. Okay, we don't need a brothel over there. So once that's done, we'll get a hut that will help our tax. We need a bakehouse that will help with growth, and growth is really important. More population, bigger armies, we can get more done. Let's get a library here. And that's it, guys. So we'll end the turn, and voila. Also, if you remember, like, past episodes, if I'm talking during the turn, sometimes my voice will, like, lag. And that's just because of Bandicam, but it's not going to happen anymore. So I'm so relieved. So, so relieved. So we're doing pretty well. If you look at the mini map, we're kind of all over the place. You know, North Europe, Iberian Peninsula. Pretty soon we're just going to be invading from all different kinds of sides. Take over Eastern Europe. Take over Africa. Blitz, Blitzkrieg time. Oh, look at this. They're rallowing. Rallowing? <laughs> Rallying. Oh, man. Words are hard, guys. Words are hard today. And I don't think... Okay, they're, they're going to hold... Oh, no. Actually, they might be fighting. Oh, the king is coming out. The king is coming out. Oh, by the way, this isn't the king in the... I, I'm sorry. For some reason, I thought the king was in that army uh, for for us, but th this is actually just a general. The king is in the Iberian Peninsula, and they're not going to fight us. But you know what? I'm going to make them fight us by attacking, and we're going to maintain siege. Yes, and soon they will come crashing down on us, but I'm pretty confident in this force, and it's going to be quite the battle. Quite the battle. Now let's check out what's going on over. Oh, holy moors! Oh my goodness! Wow. Uh, I don't know what the moors are gonna be up to, but it's not looking good. Just don't, just don't get in our way, all right, moors? Can we get mercenaries? We can. We need the mercenaries. Two more turns till they surrender. Uh, we're looking pretty weak here, but we can't really recruit anybody. Uh, let's get some priests and assassins. Uh, I really, I should get some assassins near London because we have all, we have all those, like, rebel agents and whatnot. Uh, logging camp. So, man, we're kind of hurting on money. Let's see, let's see if we can get assassins anywhere. No, spy. Assassin there, we don't need assassin there. Somewhere in the British Isles. Let's see... Wait, can we get assassin? No, 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 no. Assassin, assassin. Oh, here we go. All right, we can get one. That's good for now. Oh, we got another okay. force here. And we've got a large rebel force here. A bunch of English forces probably trying to bring back England. Restore England. It's not going to happen. Um, we'll retrain the forces in here and we'll end the turn. Now, this is it, guys. This is where we take the capital of Norway. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Oh, he's taking out the heretics. And he failed. <laughs> Thanks. Good try, though. Oh, come on, Moors. No. No. Sire, the enemy lays siege to our walls. We're gonna have to do some diplomacy with them. I can't. Why would he attack me? Uh, why? I'm helping him kill his like nemesis. He wants the Iberian Peninsula. That's all he wants. And Norway is regrouping. And they're still not attacking me. But the king is right there. Look at the king. Oh, man. A suitable prince? Sure. 
New mission. Sending a fleet to blockade the port for at least one turn. Uh, no. Not right now. Byzantine Empire. Oh, ready to upgrade. Fantastic. But we don't have any gold. Uh, not yet. I think, um... I think we should attack here. Because we really can't wait any longer. Because this city will hold out... Oh, you know, this city will hold out for six turns, so... But he has a bunch of artillery, so he might attack. You know, there's really nothing I can do here. Um, he's going to take that city. So I'm just going to let him take it. And I'll take it back once I take uh, this this settlement here. You know, I need the money, though. So we should probably just attack. Let's, let's assault and see what the odds are. <sighs> Not good. And it, it's because it's a fortress. And I don't... I, if I had gunpowder artillery... I'm just going to wait them out. And... I'm going to let this city be overrun by Moorish... Moorish... Uh, Moorish soldiers. Alright. And then over here... Command me. What if we... This... What kind of siege is this? This is a fortress. Northern European. They don't have... A crazy amount of units but you know what honestly this is their leader their king they've got a bunch of mercenaries I think it will be glorious should we face them in the open or should we continue the siege I really want them to come to me so I'm gonna maintain the siege here as well um, so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to upgrade that town yet but let's see if we can build anywhere else. Uh, let's get a chapel over here. Uh, logging camp. And that's probably all we can build. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's end the turn. I'm ready for someone to attack me, other than the Moors. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Um, we can try fighting this. I, I really don't think it's worth it. Um, but you know what? Let's fight it and try to kill as many as we can. Come on, lads! This battle is ours! And, uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna sit at the town center. Hope that my archers can get a lot of kills. My goal is to at least kill four to five hundred of them. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of Alright, let's let's wait for the speech, because these speeches are pretty amazing. Let's see what he says here in this this hopeless battle. God, luck! We'll give those vagabonds something to look miserable about. At them, lads! At them! Well wasn't that inspiring. <laughs> I would have said something like, we will all die here tonight. You know, something like that. But it will be a glorious death. And for our, our kingdom. And our king. And our people. Alright. Um, I'm thinking about leaving behind a unit here. To activate the towers and try to get some kills. You know what, let's, let's put the archers up here. We'll try to get at least a couple volleys. And then we're going to retreat. We're going to run like hell. And we'll start the battle. Oh, he's got a trebuchet. What the hell? What What am I thinking? I completely forgot about that. Just go back to the town center, boys. Just fast forward. Yeah, there's no point. He's just going to bring down the walls. God, he's got a lot of artillery. The moors are going to be quite the force. I'll oh, check out their... Their banner here, that's awesome. More, more historically accurate, I assume. Let's check out his units. Any unique units compared to the vanilla? Some camels here. Mm, nothing really crazy unique. Alright, take down the walls. Yeah, so we're not going to win this one, but... 
We're gonna try to hold them back. Try to kill, like I said earlier, about 500 of them. Why are you guys, you need to get over here. All right, so now let's group up our troops. And what we're gonna do is hold the like so. Fight on. They must get no further. They must not get any further. Hopefully they attack all at one side. And with the archers, you guys get in loose formation. And you guys get in loose formation. I probably should keep one spear, one spear unit back as reserve. Just in case, like, uh, they sneak around or something. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but if it takes forever, I'm just going to cut this out. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So they bombarded our walls for like no reason. They were trying to take out towers and they just destroyed a bunch of buildings, unfortunately. These people are probably burning to death right now, which is really tragic, but they only have one choke point here. Uh, so I kind of regret. Oh, actually, you know what? They're still firing, but they're going for towers. I don't, I don't get their logic, but I kind of, Maybe I should charge down here and fight at the, at the street here. No, 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 let's not do that. No, no, the reason we shouldn't do that is because we have infinite morale here. Let's not be too hasty. Ugh, this is going to be quite the army. God, these are intimidating looking army. These troops. Maybe we can get a big chain route. The enemy have taken them. <laughs> He's still firing. Maybe he'll get some friendly fire. Don't go the other way. Go down the center. Don't flank around. Alright, let's fast forward. Maybe we can beat them by time. Come on. If they flank around, we're screwed. Yes, all go down the center. There we go. Alright, here they come. Let's uh let's do fire arrows. All right, normal speed, here we go. Fire at the bastards. For Scotland, men. Okay, hold fire, hold fire. I don't want to kill my own men. Let's turn off fire ammo and go for the troops in the back. Do we have any flanking units? Not yet. Let's see, does he have any archers? I don't think so. So we don't have to worry about that. So we'll get the next spear unit in position. 
Alright, flaming arrows. Go for the calf. Spearmen, get in position. Victory seems certain for the men as of right now. I'm sure that will change soon enough. For Scotland, damn it! <laughs> Even though this is hopeless, I love fighting these kind of these kind of battles. No orders are not completed. Orders are completed when the enemy is dead. Everybody bring down ten Moorish soldiers before they perish. Who wants to live forever, man? This is right over their heads. Yes, continue to put down the fire. Oh, you know, I always... I, I, I forgot to save this before we started this battle. Changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. That's okay. I, I have confidence that this will not this will not bug out, and even if it does, you will not know because I'd have to restart. My spearmen are holding though. They're doing pretty well. Look at this epic clash. All right, we need to send in the other spears. They're starting to get overwhelmed. Send in the other spears. How did he get through? Damn him. 500, we have to kill 500 of these bastards. Great, my archers are in melee. That's not good. Yes, we just killed a cab. Cab unit there. Soldier. Alright, what we're gonna do is tighten the formation and go to this flank. See how the, it, they're exposed right there? I'm gonna try to take advantage of that. But you guys need to hustle up. You guys are walking like it's no big deal. Oh, and the cab is just, you know, storming through here. That's not good. Fire. We have lost half our men. Uh, I'm gonna turn off fire ammo. Actually, no, keep it on. They're like, what do you want? Flames on or flame off? Flame on! <laughs> Let's see this volley. Yeah, this is pretty good. Alright, let's retreat the archers. I want them firing, but they're gonna get a lot more kills firing their bows. Break! Break, you bastards! Oh man, the Iberian Peninsula, it's a bloodbath. The whole little peninsula is just covered in blood throughout centuries. Come on, kill this guy who's walking up on you. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, he hit him. Uh, damn. All right, melee archers, melee. There's no hope now. We're gonna fast forward now. Let's see how many we killed. I don't think it's gonna be 500, but uh, I'm proud of my soldiers. They fought bravely. Their names will go down in history. Oh, look at the look at the captain. He's all bloodied up. He's like, oh, I'm gonna kill as many as I can. He's kind of getting destroyed though right now. Oh, look at him. Look at him, he's a badass. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Here's a, here's a soldier right here. Fighting bravely. Dead. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we killed enough. Let's see, we killed not even 300. Unfortunate, but I'm still proud of my army. We will take back this settlement. I promise you that. So now the plan is just to take out Leon, and I think it's gonna happen in this this turn. And we'll loot the city, get a bunch of money, get some mercenaries.
Take the settlement. Take it, take it. Good for you, good for you. Whoa! Did you see that little step back? That was awesome. All my priests and agents are leaving. Could this go any slower? Oh, jeez. Time for a prayer. <laughs> Time for a prayer. Yeah, we need some prayers here. And my diplomat. Arrest now, sir. Well, at least there's some religious conflicts here. And maybe we can upset the settlement. Look, the diplomat's like, alright, man. It's cool, man. I'm just gonna get out of here. It's okay. Oh, look at this. They're coming in with their priests. Okay. And Portugal still just stomping around with their massive armies. Oh, here we go. This is it, guys. This is for their capital. Boom. Yeah, they have about 400 troops. We've got about 800. Definitely going to be in our favor. And we've got some catapults and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start this. Kill them all. Hopefully this speech will be a little bit better than the last speech. I wish, like, I know it's probably pretty hard to program, but, like, have the have the uh, speeches really <clears throat> and like have a lot of speeches of goes our way. and like Let have it, it if you know the battle's hopeless have them be like we may all die tonight but we'll give them hell or something like that uh, again that would be really hard to do but I don't know I love my speeches I love them to arms bonny Scotsman our foes have blood that needs shedding huzzah huzzah Got the nice palm trees in here. Alright, very nice position up here. So let's get all the skirmishers. Oh, wow, a lot of my troops are hidden in the trees. Let's group, group up the archers. Got four units of archers. Put them right here. And then all the infantry. Go ahead and group up. Oops, did not mean to do that. I am, I am so bad with that. I always group up wrong troops. Okay, oh, that's why... They, they put archers as infantry. The hotkeys are, are screwed up in this. Alright, there we go. And get the general with all his cav. And then we'll get the catapult right here, not behind the tree. Alright, let's see if we can get some good volleys here. Um, we're going to reposition the archers a little bit. Just to get a better uh, position. And, well, let's see here. What do we... I think we've got a lot of family members over here. Oh, yeah. They're coming together for the final attack. Wow, they've got a lot of cav. I'm really glad I'm actually... Oh, that's epic looking. I'm glad that I'm taking out this, uh, this faction early out. Because they have uh, a lot of good, good units. You know, a lot of, like, men-at-arms and stuff. Oh no, guys, come on, with the catapult, like, don't get lazy with that thing. I don't think we lost anyone, though, jeez, that was close. Go for the general. Alright, we should have time here, oh jeez, he's going full on charge. We need the spearmen to go down there. Archers retreat. Is this a, oh, it's a missile cab, just kidding. Hold fire, or hold, hold your ground. Infantry. Boom! We didn't kill anyone, but that looks pretty epic. Okay, now he's charging in his cav. You know what? Screw it. Just infantry, go. Archers, retreat. Cav, go about right here. Okay, catapult. Oh my god. That's really my bad. Because I had the catapult targeting the uh, general, and the general was super close. Oh crap! Cav, go this way. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, we got to Okay, flank around, rabble. Can't believe we still have rabble in the army. Oh, look at that! I love that. It's so epic. Here comes the general. This is the king, doing a glorious charge. This is a pretty epic fight, guys. 
All right, we need more. We need more infantry up this way. Oh, watch the friendly fire, you bastards! God, this catapult. Who died? Ooh. Okay, I've, I'm really concerned for my king now. I don't want to lose my king. All right, so that's one family member dead. Oh, my archers are getting in the mix for whatever reason. Oh, crap. He just destroyed my archers. Archers, focus down there, archers. Oh, it's just their army is so elite. Crap, if we lose this, I'm going to blame it on the catapult. Can we get a good hit? Oh, did he kill him or is that guy already dead? Okay, we're winning over here. Surround them. Don't let the king die. Someone protect the damn king. Shit, we lost half our army. Okay, catapult, you're done. You're done. It's just their generals that are causing havoc. Man, I did not expect this fight to be so close. Let's go after the uh, skirmishers. Finish them off. Oh, they're coming and charging. General, get out of there. Get out of there. I cannot lose my king. I will not lose him. Oh, he's attacking my catapult crew. Damn, his army. Alright, we've killed half of them. But they've killed quite a bit of us. Quite a bit of us. They're trying to chase down my king. Oh my god. They're just gonna have to fight. Oh, my army's breaking on that flank. Gotta break somewhere. Only half the enemy force remains. Hey, I thought he said that already. Oh my god, my general's bodyguard is just getting destroyed. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this mess. Damn. Well, well played. I was expecting a breeze of a battle. Yep, yep, this is defeat. This is defeat. Well, geez, things are getting difficult in the Iberian Peninsula. Things are getting very difficult. All right, everybody retreat. Let's get my king out of there. Retreat. Oh, man. All right, so what we have to do is regroup. Regroup. I was really hoping we'd take out this this faction right here. You know, you're not gonna win battles with a rabble. It just it's that point that point in the campaign where you can't win battles with a rabble. But nonetheless, this this battle was epic. That was it was really cool. I really like this map too. Uh, just didn't have enough. Didn't have enough. I was really hoping my mercenaries would win for me. Uh, let's just fast forward. I'm gonna make sure my king gets out alive. Why are they catching up? 
And how far away is he? Alright, he should be able to make it out. Come on, right there. Right there, man. There they're retreating. Okay, just leave. Don't go the longest way out. Okay. This defeat is a bitter drop to swallow. Yes, it is. Next time it will be our foe that sups from this most foul cup. It is. Pretty embarrassing defeat. We lost almost our entire army. So there's really not going to be much to ransom from. Or, like, pay them for. Man, their king is mean. <laughs> Sancho. Sancho the mean. Alright, so let's go to the campaign map. I'm going to try to get all the troops I can, regroup, and we have to, you know, try to retake all these settlements back. Maybe we can get Portugal to fight a war with the Moors or something. Uh, except. Oh, I don't have any money! I'm just short. Get out of there, king. Okay, don't... Oh, wow. Set watches. He traveled a great distance. Alright, so we've got some trouble in the Iberian Peninsula. And we've got some trouble over here as well. And, wow, this is... Things are not going well. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we don't have enough time for this battle. But this is definitely going to be a great one. The start of the next episode. So... We really have to win this battle here. Uh, I think my men can do it. They have some decent upgrades and some chevrons. But again, we are fighting the Vikings. So <laughs> they're a tough, tough force to deal with. And the Iberian Peninsula, we're going to regroup and reconquer. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one.